Make sure we've got some audio going here this morning. Hey, there it is. How y'all doing this morning? My name is Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes in the morning. Running a little bit late this morning. My apologies. I gave you a head on the Facebook page and told you to tune in to find out why I'm at the radio station already. I don't know why. I just felt like today would be a good day to come down here and do the show live from the station again. I used to do that every once in a while. But uh, at any rate, for those of you that don't know, I'm not sure how you missed it. Tuesday mornings at 8 o'clock, I do a radio show live on WTKI, EKI. And you can listen online, WTKIRadio.com. But the best way to catch it is right here, Facebook Live. Go to talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. That gets you to the right place. This morning, my guest, I believe, is going to be Terry Porter uh, from... Functional chiropractic, you want to tune in for that. It's always a great conversation uh, when Terry or uh, Porter are here. Hey, as you drop in, I would love it if you would say hi. Just leave me a note. That encourages me, and it sets you up to stay tuned in to the conversation as it develops in the comments afterwards. And let me tell you, sometimes the best part of the, <laughs> of the show are the comments. Uh, and the conversations that go on there after we're done. So this morning's teaser uh, was about thinking your way to success. Thinking your way to success. That'll be our topic this morning as we get started. Before we do, good morning, Joe. Good morning, Eric. Thank you both for being here and everyone else who has tuned in. I appreciate it. All right, so think your way to success. Yesterday, uh, I shared a quote from Napoleon Hill that said, what the mind can conceive and believe can become a reality. Something like that. I'm, I'm butchering the quote a little bit. But here's the thing. We, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, but I wanted to come back to this because I think this is probably the crux of the whole thing. If I believe I'm going to be successful, the chances for me being successful grow exponentially. Think about that for just a minute. <clears throat> if I want to jump over a puddle in the parking lot, and I'm very confident that I can make it, then I've got no reservation, I've got no hesitation to put everything I've got into it, because I know I'm going to make it. Therefore, I'm much more likely to make it because I'm putting everything I've got into it. Conversely, if I think I might not make it, I might hesitate just a little bit trying to reserve something in case I fail. And it's that little bit that might actually cause me to fail. Now, last week we talked about scarcity and abundance. And any time that we hoard something, we keep something to ourselves, that's coming from a place of scarcity. We believe, and we'll stick with the mud puddle for a minute, we believe that there's something I need to retain, some, some piece that I need to hold back just in case things don't work out, right? So that's the scarcity mindset. The abundance mindset says, man, I'm putting everything I've got into this because you know what? Even if I fail, I can do it all over again. Scarcity versus abundance shows its head again. <laughs> so <clears throat> if we believe, now let's, Let's ratchet things up from the mud puddle and say it's getting that promotion, it's getting that new client, it's starting that new business line. If I believe it's going to be successful, then I have no reason to reserve anything. I've got no reason to hold anything back. I put all I've got into it, right? And then the chances of it being successful are greater. That's it. So when you... Now, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't be aware of and try to mitigate risk. We can't just foolishly think everything I do is going to work, right? It, it doesn't relieve you of that responsibility. You still have to evaluate risks and act accordingly, right? And I say this all the time. A lot of people will, will ask me about entrepreneurs being risk junkies or uh, have a, a greater tolerance for risk. I actually think we have a uh, uh, less of a tolerance for risk, right? Because, I mean, think about it this way. If I have 20 customers, 20 clients right now, 
I've got to lose 20 clients before I'm out of a job tomorrow. Very unlikely. If I have one employer, I only have to lose one employer before I'm out of a job tomorrow. So which one of those two is more risky? Right? So I don't think that we are, are junkies for risk. I think we're actually very aware of what the risks are and that we are uh, very good at mitigating them. I think that's the difference. So be aware of what the risks are, do a pros and cons analysis, and go into that new venture with your eyes wide open. And if you decide to move forward, move forward with 100% confidence that you can make it work. All right? All right. Uh, yeah, Eric says, I am averse to the risk of a job. Yeah, no kidding. I, I get you. <laughs> Right there with you. Hey, Keith. So Keith is visiting with us in the States this week. This week or two weeks? Uh, he's up in... Uh, it's it's got to be sunnier than here. Sunny New York. <laughs> uh, and hey, Keith, put your... Uh, put your Instagram in the comments so that, uh, so that we can keep up with the pictures that you're taking. He's taking some awesome pictures of New York uh, on his trip. So we appreciate him sharing those with us. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. Remember, top of the hour, 45 minutes or so, is a talk radio for entrepreneurs. You can find that at where? That's right, talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. And uh, I will look forward to seeing you, talking to you there. Yeah, Eric says short drive. Yeah, I wish he would come. Yeah, Keith's here for two weeks. I wish he could come to the show tomorrow. Yeah, just hop on down for a day. It's only whatever it is. Actually, it's not that far. A couple hundred miles? 700? I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up or I'm going to start rambling. Oops, too late. You guys have a, a, a great, a safe, and a dry Tuesday. Listen to the show at the top of the hour, and uh, I'll talk to you then. If you don't catch that, I don't know why you shouldn't, but if you don't, be back here, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, Another installment of seven minutes in the morning. You guys take care. <laughs>